children, that my children, you know, I just, I'm keeping them before the throne and just allowing God to do what he got to do in their life. And I just thank him for allowing that burden to, um, of carrying what I seen, I let it go. And that he gave me peace in it to not want to react, but to respond in prayer. Yeah. So I just thank God for that. And, you know, and also I'm in the process of wanting to move and trying to find a vehicle and that God give me intuition, give me insight on that and to make the right choice. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So
that it creepeth upon the earth. Uh -huh. Amen? Yeah. So the image of God is not, he's not talking about his physical image. Because God doesn't have a physical image. Uh, God is a spirit. Yeah. Uh, so God is talking about something else mm -hmm. other than his, his physical image. Yes. Amen? And, and, and then when God gets to make us into his image, then he gives us dominion or rule over everything that he created. Amen? And, and that dominion rule over, it means to, uh, uh, is, is going to use another word, talks about subduing, meaning use what God has put in this earth to be good stewards over and also use it uh, so that things can grow, things can prosper. Amen? So that things can uh, 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 survive. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, so we see here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I like it. So, verse uh, 21 and 27. What's it say? So God created man in his own image. Uh, so God created man in his own image. In the Maybe. image of God created he him. Uh-huh. Male and female created he them. So so when God said, let us create man, he was talking about mankind. Amen? So in that mankind, when he said, let them have dominion, he was talking about males and females. And women have dominion as well. Amen? Men have dominion as well. It's a shared dominion. Yes. Huh? Uh, no big guys, no little you. Mm -hmm. It's a shared dominion. Right. Amen? Amen. Uh, do we believe that to that? Amen. Uh, yeah. Amen. So read that again. Read 26 again. And God said, let us make man in our image. Uh -huh. After our likeness. Yes. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So we were given special mental and spiritual attributes that other, uh, that no other creation that God has made has made. Yes. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you tonight is that you're special. Mm -hmm. Amen? Uh, you're special in the eyesight of God. You are made in his image and in his likeness. Yes. Amen? All right, what verse here? 27. All right, read. So God created man in his own image. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Male and female created he what? Them. Them. All right, verse 28. And God bless them. Now hear me. God bless you. Bless. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. uh, you're not cursed. No. You're blessed. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Even, even we should debunk and don't even uh, take note of. Right. Remember when uh, uh, Noah, he uh, uh, looked at his fallen nakedness and, 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 and uh, he cursed. Amen. 
Listen, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Thank you, Lord. What verse did you finish reading off? 28. All right, finish that. And God blessed them, and God mm -hmm. said unto them, uh -huh. Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Amen. So the moral likeness is presently being formed in you through God's Spirit, through the Holy Ghost, through the anointing. If you surrender and submit yourself to the Holy Ghost, the leading of the Holy Ghost, you will be made in the image and in the likeness of God. Amen? That sounds simple, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> but you know, we got, we got, because our morality is off. Uh, when, when our morality is off, our desires are off. Amen? Amen. Amen.
Somebody ain't playing that now. Come on. That can't run from God. That's right. Uh, your morality controls your will, your intellect, and your creativity.
story I heard about Brother Oliver Bryan. He said he, uh, <laughs> no, it's a good story. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> insurance money for getting hit or whatever. And Brother Oliver, they say he got out of the car and said, uh, you might as well get up because I ain't got no insurance. <laughs> so the person just got up and walked on away. <laughs> that was wicked though. That would have made his insurance go up even yeah, but all these things, these, uh, these, they, they, they crazy. <laughs> I'm sitting next to him in praise and worship. You know, I'm my first guy to church, so I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm sitting there, the Holy Ghost moving, and he looks at me and says, Get up! <laughs> Don't be ashamed. Not at all. 
This is liberty. Amen. Um, when the sun is set free, it's what? Free, free indeed. indeed. I'm glad about it. That's right. Uh, thank you, Lord. I can, I can be a CEO of a major corporation and a little pack of cocaine control. Mm. Uh, Lucy. Right. <laughs> Right. Go ahead. Brother Frank, I was thinking about the story of the young man you were speaking about with the money. Yeah. He allowed, he lost his vision. Mm -hmm. he, he took his eyes off of Christ. Wow. And so by doing that, money became his God. Wow. And had he turned, like, he, like the scripture says, yeah. turned back to God, he could have rejoiced in being broke, poor, whatever. Yeah. No, just, he could have been satisfied where he was. Right. Absolutely. But he allowed money, money. To, to get in his way. And he, and he, loses, he lost his vision. And that's something. That's something. As Adam and Eve lost their vision. Yeah, they lost it. My Lord. And, and the Bible says, it tells us in the book of Proverbs, don't, don't seek after money. Don't seek to be rich. Go after wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Huh? Those are the things that, that make you rich. Uh, get to know God. Get to understand God. Uh, that's what makes you rich. That's what gives you peace. Amen. That's what gives you sleep, sweet sleep at night. If you if you be evil, you gotta watch what happens. Dominate how we live. What the world 
goes after shouldn't be what we go after. Right. Am I right? right. And uh, we've got to. Yeah, yeah. I can't say it. See, you know, this is good what you said because I was in my office thinking about, you know, God sets before us choices. <laughs> with God, with God, hear me now, it's either black or white. Mm -hmm. But sometimes with us, there's gray areas. Mm -hmm. and, and I said, Lord, there's gray areas sometimes with us. Yeah. And the Lord helped me. He said, well, if your gray area is destroying you, let it go. If your gray area is destroying your walk with God, let it go. Follow? Proverbs, black and white. Psalm, black and white, good and evil. We fall into gray areas because of who we are. But he said if that gray area your children, your husband, yeah. huh? your job, Yeah. 
Because if it's not, it's keeping you in bondage. It's holding you back. It's stopping you from the progression. It's captivating your mind. Amen. Amen. The Lord wants you to be free. He got a shot. Go in. I don't mean that you're going to experience pain uh -huh. and sorrow. Right. You know what I mean? That's all a part of your freedom. Right. Amen. Right. All right, we're going to move on. Jesus. All right, go ahead. In Ecclesiastes 1, we were talking about this before, and I told you the Lord was talking to me about the vanities. And it took me back to Ecclesiastes 1. He said, what does it profit a man his labor under the sun? Uh -huh. If there's no, it, it don't profit what God called you to do. It don't profit the purpose or the will of God is vain. Vain. That's it. It's vain. It's beautiful. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego wrote the third verse. Were they free? Yeah. Absolutely. That's it. Yes. Uh, uh, and they said, I'm going to kill you, Dad. 
chapter number three. Oh, Jesus. Yep, we got to go there. But let's, Lord, I'm That's what we, my child, that's what we just read, Bishop. Yeah. That's what <laughs> 317 and 18. I'm, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I'm getting nervous because I got some ground I to cover. Yes. All right. Let's go to Ephesians chapter number four. Ephesians chapter number four. Yep. Let me get there. I don't know if y'all read it before me. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter number four. First of all. Yes. And then you put on the new man. Mm -hmm. All right, now hold on. Uh, start with 23. Start with 17. Mm -hmm. This I say, therefore, uh -huh. and testify in the Lord, yeah. that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk. All right, don't live like the world. Mm -hmm. Read. In the vanity of their mind. See, there it is. See what I'm saying? That's the problem. Mind. Amen? The morality happens in the mind. Yes. Read. Having the understanding darkened, uh -huh. being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them uh -huh. because of the blindness of their heart. Amen. The scriptures opens up your heart. It gives you life. Amen? Read. Who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness. Now look, talk about morality. Right. Being past fear. Being past morality. When you're not uh, thinking about being a moral person, you end up in lasciviousness. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Read. Who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness, to work all uncleanness with greediness. Mm -hmm. See that? That's no morality. That's no righteousness, no holiness. Read. But we ye have not so learned Christ. Now, we have not so learned Christ. You gotta learn him. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye what? That labor and what? Are heavy laden. And heavy laden. Uh, and do what? I'll give you rest. Oh, I missed the whole thing. Learn of me. Learn of me. Learn of me. You've got to learn Christ. That's the process he's talking about. Be not conformed, but be what? By renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. When you have an immoral desire, work on that. Don't obey that. Resist that. Amen? Read. 21. Uh -huh. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. Where's the truth? In Jesus. Uh -huh. Read. That he put off concerning the former conversation, uh -huh. the old man, That's the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. All right, let's get changed. I want you to make a change. Be in the be. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Yeah, yeah. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Don't allow your mind to go places and not let it go. Yeah. Read. And that ye put on the new man, uh -huh. which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. See, there it is. That's what Adam and Eve lost. They lost righteousness and what? True holiness. That's what we pursue after. Righteousness and true holiness. That's what Adam and Eve lost. He said, put on the new man. The old man was corrupt, easy. Right? That's Adam and Eve. That's what they gave up. He says, put on the new man, which is created, desire. Any man being corrected, what? New creature. And, and it's in righteousness and true holiness. That's morality. Being moral. Amen. All right, let's go over here. Uh, oh, oh, where am I still here? Go ahead, read 25. 
Wherefore, putting away lying. Now, everything he's going to do here is immoral. Put away lying. Because it's what? Immoral. 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 Read. Speak every man truth with his neighbor. Speak the truth. Don't lie. Read. For we are members one of another. Read. Be ye angry and sin not. Uh, 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 you can be angry because God didn't take away your emotion. And anger is an emotion that you'll never get away from because God uses that anger for good as well. You didn't get angry at something you want to do what's right. Follow? So he said, uh, 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 be angry but what? Sin not. Don't sin. Don't let that anger be turned into wrath. Read. Oh, sorry. Let ahead. not the sun go down upon your wrath. All right. What is wrath? Unbridled anger. Self confession. No. no. All right. Read. Neither give place to the devil. All right. Let him that stole steal no more. Stealing is immoral. Mm -hmm. Right? So he says about stealing. Don't steal. Read. But rather let him labor. Huh? Work. Working with his hands. Work the things which is good. Huh? That he may have to give to him that in need. My Lord. Read. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Stop cussing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yes. Immoral. Right. Ain't no gray area with you. It's <laughs> <laughs> not there. Huh? How can bitter and sweet come out the same time? Yes. Read. But that which is good to the use of edifying. Uh, talk, speak words that will edify. Heal up. Read. That it may minister grace unto the hearers. That it give grace to those that are hearing the word. <laughs> read. And grieve not the Holy Spirit. Don't grieve the Spirit. Of God. Uh -huh. Whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Read. Let all bitterness uh -huh. and wrath Back. and anger Back. and clamor Woo. and evil speaking uh -huh. be put away from you uh -huh. with all malice. Wow. And be ye kind one to another. Here we are. That's what we should do. Tender heart. Be kind one to another. That's yes. right. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Mm -hmm. I don't like my brother. I gotta be kind to him. And I gotta go past life, I gotta love him. That's right. Huh? Am I right? Is there any reason that I should mistreat you? Oh, no. 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 Am I right? No. Yeah? I can say I'm human all day long. But greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. My sister. The word of God gives you no excuses. Because you can just like you said, you can say I'm human. Right. You counteracted that. What the scripture said, he that he that is in me. Now, what's gonna happen? Folks do you wrong. If you feel some type of way, you gotta walk in love. I mean, you gotta come go over to the throne. Get you some more love. Some more pray. Huh? Ask God to help you. And then allow God to change your mind. Get God to give you a, a different way of looking at what you're experiencing. It's all about perception. The devil gives perception as well. He talks to me as well. He talks to you as well to give you a perception. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, all right, read. Be 
one, one more scripture. Colossians. I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all bear with me. Thank you. You guys are wild. Y'all want me to let y'all go. Colossians 3 and 10. And have, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. All right. You've got to put on that new man, which is renewed in what? Knowledge. Now, you've got to get the knowledge of the scripture, of what God requires. Amen? Read, read that verse again. And, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge, after the image of him that created him. All right. I hate to let it go over here. I don't need to call the nation of what I want. But amen. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're here. Amen. amen. Love is real. Am I right? Uh, Jesus is real. I want to be like Jesus. In order for me to be like Jesus, I got to love. I got to walk with God. Amen? And, and thank you, Holy Ghost. The whole purpose of this Bible study is for you to realize that everything you're experiencing is to make you like Christ. And when you know that, it helps you to go through it. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Go through it with joy. Go through it like a champion. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Amen. Don't let nobody steal your peace. Amen? Amen? Amen. Hallelujah.